Here we aim to graph the function f of x equals negative 3 to the x minus 1 minus 2. So it helps here to start with a base graph. Okay, what is the base graph here? We have all this stuff going on. What we're going to do is we're going to start with the base graph, and then we are going to work on various shifts and reflections of that graph to get the new graph. So the base graph that you should memorize so that you could do these translations to it, it's just f of x equals 3 to the x. And it's not that you memorize 3 to the x, you really memorize f of x equals b to the x for ex exponential growth. Okay, so b to the x, what does that look like? Well, they're all the same. It's just a slightly different, but here's the deal. They come up, they asymptotically approach the x-axis, they go to this one point. This is a, an anchor point at 0, 1, and then they blow up. And then by the time we're at 1, we're already up at b. And that gives us our second point, 1, b. And then if you know the basic shape, you just follow it on up and then you can always get your exponential function. That doesn't curve over anything. It keeps going up. Okay, so let's, let's get 3 to the x. I'm going to draw this in green because it's not our final answer. 3 to the x is just our starting point. Okay, so it goes through 0, 1. They all go through 0, 1. And then at 1, we're already up to 3. Okay. At 2, we're up at 9. So we're going to come in here along the x-axis, and then we're going to start to turn up, and then this thing just explodes like that. Okay, so there we have 3 to the x. But that is not our graph. We're trying to graph this, this one up here, negative 3 and all this stuff. So let's see what happens here. Um, what does the negative do? The negative out in front of a graph like this reflects about the x-axis. About the x-axis. Okay. The minus one up here, well that's a horizontal shift, and the horizontal shifts always go in the opposite direction of the sign. So this is one, okay, so we'll say shift, shift one, to the right. Okay, that's what this does. And then this minus 2 here shifts it 2 down. Anything outside of the function, these are going to be the vertical shifts. So since it's negative, now the vertical shifts do go in the direction of the sign. So negative corresponds with down. So shift 2 down. Okay, so let's see here. So let's reflect it first. All right, so I'm going to stick with green here. Let's do our reflection about the x-axis. That just takes everything up here and reflects them down. So this 0, 1 is going to come down here to 0, negative 1. 1, 3 is going to become 1, negative 3. 2, 9. 2, negative 9. And it goes along like that. Okay, there it goes, and off we go. Hopefully yours is straighter than mine. Curve that in. It shouldn't be all wavy like that. Kind of hard to draw on this. Okay. So now we have 3, negative 3 to the x. We've reflected about the x-axis. Okay. And now we want to take this. So let's look at our points here. You kind of think of these points like handles. And you want to move the whole graph around. You can pick it up by these handles and move them. Okay, so we're going to go one to the right and two down. Okay, so I'll do my final graph in blue. One to the right and two down makes this point go here. One to the right and two down goes there. One to the right and two down goes there. And then it really helps. This is an asymptote right here at the x-axis. So 1 to the right, that doesn't change the x-axis at all, but 2 down does. So let's shift this x-axis down 
two points, or this asymptote, I mean, down by two units. And that gives us a guideline to graph this graph along. We hug along this asymptote, follow it in, and then we'll trace these points out. Okay, so then we start our exponential behavior when it really just blows up. But in this case, it's blowing up, but it's blowing up in the negative direction because we reflected it. Okay, something like that. Okay, so we flipped it, we moved it one to the right and two units down. And so the blue one's our new graph. So let's just label that. So this, this here is negative three to the x minus one minus two. Let's try another one. Now we want to graph g of x equals one third to the x plus two which you could also think of this as three to the negative x plus two. It's commonly written that way. But let's start with graphing our base function um, one over b to the x. And this will hold for any base b, including one third. Right, so we go along like this. It goes through the anchor point here at zero, one. And then at negative one, we're all the way up here at b. All of these 1 over b functions, assuming b is greater than 1, will do this. And then it's this nice exponential decay, comes along like so, and then traces along, follows up right into the x-axis, ever closely approaching it, but never touching it. So hope you're, hopefully your drawing is a little bit better than that. Mine always wants to jump right down there and touch it, but you should not. Okay, so in this case we want to graph 1 over 3 to the x first, and then we'll begin our translations. This plus two on the outside is gonna shift up two units. All right, so let's start by graphing um, one over three to the x. I'll do this in green since it's not our final graph. We have, let's see, it goes through zero, one, as discussed. But then at negative one, we're all the way up at three here. And then at negative two, actually, we'd be up at nine. So this is exponential decay, and here it comes in, it goes down, 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 and then comes across, and then asymptotically approaches this x-axis like so. Never touches it. Okay, so this is one-third to the x, oftentimes written as three to the negative x, exponential decay. And then here we're going to shift it up by 2. So all these points are going to go up 2. So this 1 goes up to 3. 3 goes up to 5. And 9 goes up to 11. And also, this has an asymptote here along the x-axis. The green one does. So that's also going to get shifted up by 2. And that's the, one of the most important things you can do to graph these, is shift the asymptote along with it because then we have a really nice guideline of where to graph it. You can see we connect these points, right? It comes down like so, and then levels off along this x-axis, or this asymptote. Okay, so there's, the, there's our final answer. This blue one here is one-third to the x plus two. And it's shifted up to, hopefully yours are, are not as wavy as mine are. It's kind of hard to draw them on this writing tablet. But they should be nice and and uh, nice and a nice curve without a bunch of weird blips and and jumps and stuff like that. There we go. Straighten it out a little bit. Okay, so there it is. Shift it up by two.